Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. I'm Andrew and today I have a very special guest with me. My name is Diego and I lead Microsoft Global University Recruiting. I brought a friend today, this is my Microsoft Ninja Cat. I painted this myself the other week. This Microsoft Ninja Cat reminds me and everybody around me to be bold. So today we wanted to share with you what it takes to work at Microsoft and learn directly from the head of university recruiting. If Microsoft doesn't come to your school, what can you do to stand out? First of all, the good news is that Microsoft, we hire almost 10,000 students every year globally, both for internships and full-time roles. That's a lot of people we hire and it really gives my life meaning. My first advice to you would be please apply. So many students don't get a job because they don't apply. They don't think they're good enough. They don't think a company like Microsoft is good in reach. Apply, apply, apply. I applied to over a hundred companies when I graduated, you know, and I landed one job. Show up on LinkedIn. I mean, I'm not just saying this because LinkedIn is part of the Microsoft family. LinkedIn is the leading professional network. Make sure you have a great profile. Make sure you're posting. I would say to you to stand out, to be noticed. Tell the world what you're up to. If you participated in some conferences, diversity conferences like Grace Hopper, like Nesby, if you are leading hackathons, if you are uh, part of a charity organization, leadership, uh, make sure that you show up on LinkedIn. So I have a question about yes. that. For the students that go to Grace Hopper or these other conferences, they're competing against all the other people who are also at those conferences. So how do you identify who's high potential and who you want to interview when you have so many candidates? Be intentional. Just like I'm telling you, apply to many companies, apply to many jobs. Be intentional. When you go to this conference and you're going to talk to a recruiter from a company like Microsoft, make sure you know, for example, what does Microsoft stand for? What does Microsoft do? Where is the company going? and talk to the recruiter or to the engineering manager about how you fit into that picture. If you don't know it, like they also won't know it, all that information is on the web. In fact, I want to talk a little bit about how Microsoft has been changing and, um, but what I would say to you, as you go to conferences, you apply, can I say it in Spanish? Say it, say it in Spanish. Tu diferencia es lo que te hace especial. You want to take a guess what it means? Uh, something about difference being what makes you special. Yes, yeah. your difference is what makes you special. So don't try to blend in. It's okay to be you, to stand out, and to bring all of who you are to... We want to hire you, not just a part of you. So it's okay to stand out, stand out by bringing all of who you are. Yeah. So you mentioned how Microsoft is changing. Do you want to yes. touch on what that change looks like? Yes, yeah, so five years ago we got a new CEO at Microsoft, Satya Nadella, and with him we got a new mission. Our old mission was to put a PC on every home, but our new mission is much larger. Our new mission is to empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more. Empowering the planet is a big task, but so is Microsoft. Microsoft is a big company with a lot of resources. We can do this together, we can do this. Culture is the key ingredient. Like, how do we go about empowering the planet? We need to see the planet, we need to value the planet, we need to empower each other. It requires a lot of teamwork as well. Um, so this company is changing where it's a company where we want to help each other, help the world, keep learning. So I have good news for you students. If you like going to university and learning, you can come to Microsoft and you can keep doing it. The other way that the company is changing is we want people to bring all their passions to work. Microsoft is a platform for you to pursue your passions. My passion, other than playing the guitar and painting, is to inspire. I'm writing a book. These are some chapters of the book that I'm writing to inspire you and you, Andrew, and myself, right? So the book is called How to Go from Job to Dream Job. And we have all these different chapters. So I want to invite all of you to connect with me directly on LinkedIn. Send me an invitation. I will accept all the invitations. I publish more than 25 articles with tips on how you can not only go from job to dream job, but how you can do that at Microsoft. I think that's incredible. So if you're watching, I would definitely take advantage of this opportunity. Follow along with what Diego has to say because we can only cover so much in this video, um, and there's a lot more to be heard about uh, what it's actually like to work at Microsoft and what actually will make you stand out. We're going to link Diego's LinkedIn below, down somewhere there. <laughs> Keep an eye out for that. I know that you are interviewing me, but 
and this is not a script, but this video right now is one way that the two of you, because we have Mark behind the camera, are using Microsoft as a platform to pursue your passion. So can you tell me a little bit about, and the audience, this passion of inspiring through these YouTube videos and how you're using Microsoft as a platform for that? Or? Yes. So one of the things that really matters to me is making technology more accessible. Because when you have a piece of technology, your world is no longer limited to your four walls. You can see what is out there and what's possible, and you can also empathize with what maybe the negative things that are happening in the world. And it really brings us a lot closer together. Uh, so giving that opportunity to more people is what, something that inspires me. And this summer, being at Microsoft, I've been able to leverage what I, what Mark and I started with the Tech Twins, but bring it and show what Microsoft is like. We're going to go take a look at what interview rooms look like at Microsoft and what you can expect when you walk into your final round interview. We are here at Microsoft Building 111. This is where all the interviews happen. So Diego, how about you give us a tour? Yeah, welcome. Recruiting Building 111. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Welcome, this is our lobby. Yeah. We have a very comfy place. Interviews happening right now. This is Sasha, a member of the team as well. Hey, how are you? Can I help us with the tour? Yes, absolutely. Excellent. Let's go on a tour. Oh, we have more than 63 interview rooms during the fall season. They are all full. Let's go check them out. The best coffee machine in town, right here. It's really good. Okay, so Sasha and Diego, where are we right now? So we are in the interview center where we bring all of our candidates. So these are rooms off to the sides and on the different floors? Yes, we have a lot of interview rooms. Let me show you how one looks like. So from over here. <laughs> Interviews happen. So this is where the magic happens. Here's one. Yeah, like just to close, I'll say that if you happen to be invited to a final round interview event, it's, it's really a wonderful day where you get to meet the Seattle area, you have the recruiters take you out to lunch, and whether or not you end up getting an offer, you actually get to network and make friends with other candidates that are here from other schools, Microsoft employees. So it's really a good experience regardless, and I encourage all of you to make the best of it. You definitely get to walk around the campus, and meet the campus, uh, you, 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 you put you in a hotel, and all expenses paid, and so you get to, to tour the city as well. And you get to learn about Microsoft culture. Not only you get asked questions, but you get the opportunity to ask questions to the interviewers. All in all, it's a really good, good day. Thank you. And with that, uh, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching our video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And um, if you have any questions for Diego, comment them in the section below, connect with him on LinkedIn, and yeah. So Diego, why do you want to work at Microsoft? Well, uh, I have a passion for painting cats and I hope Microsoft can be a place where I can paint a lot of these cats. Will you please hire me? Let me just take a look at this cat. <laughs> look, it has, it has the Microsoft logo. You're hired. I'm very passionate about this place.